Christmas, you son of a bitch. Tales from the Crypt isn't horror in the same way our Black Mirror Christmas was horror. How do I describe it? Glorious, wonderful schlock. Wonder, wonderment of schlock. Exciting action schlock. This is tongue-in-cheek, knowing horror, and by God is it fun. This is the first episode of my Christmas series that I had never seen before. Wait, what? The Back to the Future and Who Framed Roger Rabbit guy directed this? And Danny Elfman did the theme? I don't know, doesn't sound like him to me. The screenwriter and lead actress will also be instantly recognized by the Jay Baumans among us. So they've got a lot of horror comedy clout, but what's it about? A greedy wife kills her new husband so she can run off with his money. Then an escaped mental patient shows up, dressed like Santa, and tries to murder her. But Santa isn't the real threat, it's the cops. Then she realizes if she survives the night, she can kill two birds with one loony. I didn't kill him. Santa did it. Didn't you, Santa? Didn't you? If you love tongue-in-cheek horror, you'll love this, but I wouldn't recommend this if you're put off by horror cliches. Stranger Things and hundreds of other things running on 80s nostalgia nowadays uh, have kind of left behind the parts that didn't work. Like extended scenes of trying to reach for a weapon, not making sure your attacker is dead after you hurt them, and screaming. Lots and lots of screaming. Check your own woman screaming while reaching for a sharp object tolerance before viewing this. There's also a few times the lead actress needs to overact. She gets it right sometimes, but I wanted her black widower to chew the scenery a bit more. What did you want for Christmas, Mommy? I already got it, sweetheart. You do know that your co-star is the fucking Crypt Keeper, right? It's okay to be a big Christmas ham. After all, you're both getting carved up in the end. All right, fine, fine. He's just rubbing off on me. The minute we have the eye, you'll get tomorrow's episode. I told you Sam would come, and he didn't even have to come down the chimney. I let him in.